Lumberjacks. Welcome back to DIY The Trends, where we tackle popular trends and get the look for less. Yes, today we're talking all about terrazzo, and we're gonna be showing you how to make your own colorful terrazzo chips to add to just about any craft project. They do sell terrazzo kits online, but they can be kind of expensive. So this technique is a great way to make terrazzo chips in bulk for very little money. Yeah, so what's even better is that it really only requires three materials, plaster of Paris, water, and paint. Let's go for it. Before we get started, we're going to prep our trays here. Uh, we're just gonna put our terrazzo chips on the trays just in case we wanna move them. It does take some time for it to dry. We're gonna be using wax paper, but you can use butcher paper or, um, or uh, plastic wrap. Yeah, and you really just wanna make sure that you are prepping your materials first before you get started with this project. Because once you get started, you kind of wanna keep on moving. Now to make our chips, like we said, we're using the plaster of Paris. This is great for ceramics, pottery, you know, and just overall crafting. And you can find this at the craft store. It's really inexpensive and really versatile. That's something we love about it. And you'll want a craft stick just to mix it up. Some distilled water there. And for our terrazzo chip paint color, we're gonna be using airbrush paint. Now we experimented a lot with this project. We tried a handful of different types of paint from acrylic paint to alcohol ink, and we really found we got the best result with airbrush paint. Now airbrush paint is just a concentrated form of acrylic paint, but what makes the biggest difference we found is the higher quality of paint you're using, the more vibrant color you're gonna get because it's all about that tint. So the more expensive paint has better tint, so you're just gonna get that pop of color. Yes, terrazzo tint. Oh, I like that, a terrazzo tint. Just blows off the tongue. Now, when you mix your plaster of Paris, it's usually a ratio of two parts plaster of Paris to one part water. We see a lot of people using scales for accuracy and all of that, but you know, we are we like to wing it. We just eyeball it. We're gonna be looking for a very specific uh, uh, consistency. Yeah, we're kind of looking for like a cake batter consistency. And like Dennis said, we don't want to buy so many things when we are trying a new craft. So eyeballing it, we found that works just fine. And you know, depending on how vibrant you want this to be, you, or uh, you know, the color that you're looking for, uh, you can kind of determine how many drops you would like. I'm just gonna squirt a little in there. I like to make, I like to add a lot of paint to it, um, just because I, I really like it vibrant, but you don't want more paint ratio than plaster ratio, because then your chips are gonna become gummy and not crispy. And we want some crispy chips. Yes. All right, so now that we have our that all mixed up, now we're going to just spread it on our wax paper here. And what we're going for is a uh, even and thin spread. You know, we're gonna be using these chips to make a little project today, but of course you can uh, save this and use it for other craft projects. So you can make this in bulk or in, uh, you know, big batches, depending on what you decide to make. And it's just like frosting a cake. You just wanna spread it, again, going for a nice, even, thin layer. And I love terrazzo because it's a great way to add some texture to your space or your projects and also add some pops of color, which is really fun. You know, and this has been uh, very in. This has been very trendy lately. We keep seeing this pop up in stores and people making different projects with it. And typically it's done with um, Echo Friendly Resin. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And Marianne actually did a video about that. You can actually purchase them in kits, but this is kind of the easy way. I like this way too, because if you're not sure if you want to do terrazzo and you want to invest in a kit, I think this is a really great way to you know, dip your toes in and see if you really like it. Again, we're just gonna spread them just like a cake. You can see our first color here is already starting to dry. Yeah, you know, they really only need, they say on the Plaster of Paris packaging, it only needs a half hour, but I like to give it at least three hours before cracking, but you really can tell that this first one is already dry, which is pretty crazy. Everything's dry. Again, here's the fun part, breaking these all up. You wanna just kind of peel it off the paper there and just start to snap them apart. And you can make large chips, small chips, whatever you like. Yeah, I think it really depends on your project, the size of your project. I think going too small creates too small of specs. Too big, it's just too big. So you want something just right. 
And now we won't need all our, uh, these chips for uh, the project we're making today. We're gonna make a little vase or a little uh, pencil holder. holder. Yes, yeah, yeah. just for our little craft space. Uh, you know, but what's great about this is you can hold on to these chips and just use them whenever you feel like getting crafty. I think it's a good tip too to wash your hands in between when you are doing this, just because the color, uh, the pigment will kind of come off a little bit on your hands. And you don't want your chips to be muddy looking. We're finding these are a little too big, so I'm just gonna take some extra wax paper here, put it on top, and use my mallet to break it up a little more. You know, you can do this by hand, but this is much more fun. You just wanna avoid making it too powdery because then it won't give it the same effect. You still wanna keep it as uh, Aunt Chippy. All right, now we're going to sift through our terrazzo chips and put them in a bowl for our project. We just wanna make sure that we aren't getting all of the dust, that we're getting the right size that we want. And we also wanna make sure that we're collecting a lot of terrazzo chips for this project. Even though it's not a big project, you do wanna make sure that there's an ample amount in there just so you really get that pop of color. Yeah, and this is where you can get creative. You know, you can use uh, a lot of one color, little of another color, but you know, you kind of get a good visual here in the bowl, kind of seeing how it'll look like. Okay, you think that's good? I think that's great. All right, now let's mix our mold. Now that we have chips for days, it's time to make something. <laughs> yes, we're gonna be using a silicone mold for this project. Uh, we found this online. It's gonna be a little planter or pencil holder, but you really could use any type of mold for this. Plastic. Uh, silicone, or you can even make your own. Yeah, okay, let's get going. <laughs> now it is time to mix our plaster of Paris for our mold. Very similar to how we did it for our terrazzo chips. I am going to make it a little more watery just because our mold is on the thinner side and I wanna make sure I'm able to push it all the way down so it almost drips down instead of struggling. All right, now I'm gonna add our distilled water. For this, it's better to make more than less. You wanna make sure you have a nice uh, batch uh, so that you're working quickly with it. That's right, yeah. Having to make another batch as you go is not ideal. Yeah, you don't want to be scrambling at the end and say, oh, I just need a little more, a little more. So always think to mix more. You know, and Plaster of Paris is very inexpensive. You can buy a whole bunch uh, for really cheap. Yes. For this, you're using a silicone mold, which you can find at your local craft store or you can even purchase online. And they come in so many different shapes, sizes, and stuff like that. You can even use a plastic mold for this. When we were testing this out, I used a soap mold, which worked just fine. All right, I think this is a good consistency, so now I'm gonna add my terrazzo chips. I'm gonna add them in small batches, but you really do want it funky because you want as much pop of color as you as you can, or, you know, really, that's a personal choice. If you don't want that many uh, specks, then add less terrazzo chips. Funky, chunky, and lumpy <laughs> is what we're going for here. So as we said before, we do want to move quickly, so this looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to add it to my mold. Now we're cooking! So if it has trouble going down the sides, if you're using a mold like we are, you can push your craft stick down and help it. And you can also kind of... Uh, tap it. Tap it. Tap it. And as you can see, I need more. And actually the tapping will help uh, release any air bubbles, just like with when you're working with resin. You just wanna tap it a few times to help those air bubbles come out. I cannot squeeze this, it's already hardening. Wow. So the packaging says uh, only allow, it only needs 30 minutes, but we're gonna give it overnight before we um, take it off of the mold. Our plaster is all dry, and now I'm gonna take them out of the mold. Now I have a baking sheet with some wax paper, and I just have that to pick up any um, of the shavings that's gonna happen because we're gonna also sand this down to really reveal the terrazzo. Yes, now it may not look like much, but when you sand it down, all of that color is really gonna pop. Actually, I'm kind of seeing it already. It looks like a party. It really does. It almost has this kind of colorful confetti kind of look. 
but I'm really pleased to see it as it is because it really does look beautiful as is, but we are going to sand it down. So we're gonna start with 150 grit, then we're gonna move on to 220 grit, and then we're gonna use a wall eraser to really buff it. And as we sand, we're gonna see more and more of that color come to the front there. You know, and of course, the more sanding you do, the more uh, vibrant and colorful it will be. But you do wanna be careful you don't over sand it where you misshape in the mold. Materials, our first Terrazzo project a success. Yes, we want to hear what Terrazzo projects you're working on in a comment below. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. You say Terrazzo. I say Terrazzo. 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 Don't get confused. Let's call the whole thing off. Oi. <laughs>